everyone, it is Kim from the Nerd Element, and today I'm going to review for you Veronica Mars, uh, the Veronica Mars movie. Uh, now, for all you marshmallows out there, and if you know what a marshmallow is, um, in context of Veronica Mars, then you've watched the series, so for all you marshmallows out there, you're going to love this movie. And the reason why I say that is because it was definitely a movie for the fans. Now, a little bit um, behind this movie, this movie was funded by the fans. They put it on Kickstarter. Um, their goal is to raise $2 million in 30 days, and they raised $2 million in 10 hours. Um, so when it was all said and done, I think there was 91,000 plus backers, and they re raised a little over $5 million. So the fans paid for this movie. And, and I feel like the director and the writer, everybody in this movie, wanted to make something special for the fans. Um, and they did that. The movie has got that same film noir type that the series had. Um, not that it's in black and white, but some of the shots are uh, reminiscent of film noir and it's narrated just like the, the series was. So it, it felt like an extended episode of Veronica Mars. And it's, it's funny to say that because it came out in the theaters on Thursday. Uh, and, but it was also released digitally, and and so I watched it in the privacy of my own home uh, through Vudu, thank you Jimmy David, um, and my PlayStation 4, so I watched it just like I watched all of the series uh, recently, a couple months ago, through my television, so it really, to me, felt like it was an extended episode of Veronica Mars, and I... And I really like that. I don't mean that as a bad thing. I actually really, really like that. And I think the fans will like that, too. So most of the cast is back. And when I say most of the cast is back, the cast that could come back based on the storylines and how they left off on the show in season three, because that was the last season. So based on the situations that happened in that season and the storylines, those that could come back pretty much did come back. So you've got Kristen Bell, of course, um, James During. Um, Tina uh, Majorino, uh, Kristen Ritter, Chris Lau, who's back, uh, Percy Daggs III was back, Ryan Hansen, uh, which is one of my favorites. Ryan Hansen is one of my favorites, even though he was such a... Well, anyway. And then you've got new characters like Jerry O'Connell. He plays um, the older Sheriff Lamb, so the big brother. Um, and for those who saw the series, you'll, you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, so all of them were back, and they all did a really good job. And what was crazy about this is they filmed this in like 24 days. Uh, as soon as they got funded, they started scouting uh, the next day or so, and they started shooting. And it's so amazing, I like to think about it. Uh, 24 days, that's not a lot of time. They were doing long hours. I, think, I believe Kristen Bell just had her baby, so she was working like, you know, 14, 15 hours, and she was stopping every hour, or hour, every two hours to feed her baby, and then going back to work. So I think the fans will appreciate that. Uh, all the work they put into this movie uh, to get it out to the fans. Now, season three kind of left on a cliffhanger, uh, probably because they didn't know if they were going to be renewed for season four or or what at the time. Uh, and I, I just recently watched Veronica Mars. I unfortunately didn't watch it back originally when it aired. I just got into it, uh, I would say a couple months ago, watched the pilot episode, loved it, got addicted, stayed in front of my TV for like days on end just getting through it. The cliffhanger, the way that it ended, was it, you had questions and so this movie didn't necessarily address every single question that was left in season three. Mind you, that was like ten years ago. But it gave you enough information that you can pretty much put together what happened. Uh, and I really, really liked that. I really, really appreciated it. Um, lots of Easter eggs in this movie, guys. Uh, lots of Easter eggs. Uh, for those who watched the series, you're probably going to be happy with that. I would say stay until the end of the credits. Or if you're watching it at home like I did on Vudu, again, thank you, Jimmy David. You are going to want to wait until after the end of the credits. Um, and you'll have another little Easter egg. So definitely do that. Uh, there was a lot of cameos, and again, for the people who watch the series, you're used to that because everybody and their mother was in the Veronica Mars series. Like everybody, there was guest stars from Joss Whedon to Paris Hilton who was in uh, Veronica Mars. So they just have random cameos in this movie. And to the average person who probably who doesn't know anything about Veronica Mars and went to see this movie. 
uh, they'd be like, what was the point? There's just all these cameos and they're random. Well, it's kind of a, an homage to the series because there were a lot of cameos in the series. But all in all, guys, I really like the movie. Again, I'm a fan of Veronica Mars. Uh, I love the TV show. And this, this movie, to me, uh, was definitely made for the fans. And I'm a fan, so I really, really liked it. I am not quite entirely sure how many people who, who haven't watched the series, you know, have seen this movie and, and what they would feel about it. I think, I think you could follow it, um, but you're not going to get as much enjoyment out of it as those who have watched the series. So what I would say to you is maybe go through the series. There's only three, three seasons before you see this movie. And because they released it both in the theater and digitally, um, you don't have to rush out to the theater to go see it. You can watch the seasons and then you can just download the movie and watch it um, through Amazon Prime or On Demand or something like that. So I would definitely, definitely check that out. I think you will enjoy it more if you watch the seasons first. Alright guys, so that is what I have for you. I'll be doing a little bit more on Veronica Mars. I went to the Pele Fest uh, with the panel for Veronica Mars. So you're going to see a little you're going to see one or two more videos from me on Veronica Mars, the series, and, and, and Pele Fest kind of in this Veronica Mars package. So look for that. Uh, going to be on our website soon. And I will see you guys for the next movie. Bye.